we are stranded in Nevada this time. All right. We're going straight into the deserts of Nevada. And we're going to see what happens. This is probably not going to be a long video because I feel like this map is uh, quite small, quite big at the same time. Just depending on how you look at it, if it's going to be girth or length that you're looking for. However, this is going to be really fun. I'm excited for this map. I forgot to get a soda. That's okay. I don't need it. Also, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Moon, or I started playing Pokemon Moon last night. And, uh, I'm doing a playthrough with all three starters, and I just got them all to level 17, so they're all in their first thing. Oh. 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 Ain't no way it doesn't let me roam around the desert. And it gives me the option. Oh my goodness, no way. Anyways, when I was talking about Pokemon Moon, I ended up getting Pokemon Bank at one point, but I never paid for it because I was like, I don't feel like paying for this. It doesn't feel like something I'd want to do because I'm not going to pay for that. That's nonsense. They took down the Nintendo eShop, right? Like last year, around this time-ish. And uh, you can no longer download things from there, which I think is really odd because... They shut those servers down so quick. Like, you would have thought at least until, like, 2028 that they would have shut those down. I feel like they'd still be making plenty of money. Especially because the Nintendo Switch, when I first got mine, I was kind of disappointed. I just preferred the regular DSs, and then that's why I ended up getting the Nintendo DS2. Um, where the heck is Stranger than the Dead? There it is. And, um... So, my favorite Pokemon games are Pokemon Black and White. I never played the part, the sequels to Black and White, though, although I would like to buy one. Um, to transfer your Pokemon from there, you need the transfer app that you get through the paid version of PokeBank, which it's free now, so I can get the link, but you can't download anything from eShop because it's down. And it's just like, it's a feature for their games to like lead up into the Nintendo Switch ones. It's kind of lame that you can't really do that. So I'm probably going to have to mod my DS to get that feature. I mean, it's free now anyway, so I'm just, I have to mod it to get a free feature that like PlayStation 3 servers are still up. I can go and buy a game on PlayStation Store on the PS3 right now. Nintendo is scummy as scummy gets. That's all I got to say. Although it's probably not their fault, I'm just over exaggerating it a little bit. But still, I would like to get a Poke transfer app so I can take my Pokemon black and white Pokies to the next game. Although I can get Zekrom and everything from Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun at the end of the game. Hold on. Wait, is that Jug? The, 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 the dev to this map took Jug from me? And they gave me whatever the heck this is? Oh. They took Jug from me, though. How I just realized I got the Regun Mark III first try out of the box. Okay. We're out here from the matters. Oh, they took Quick Revive, too. Oh, I really wish I could go down there. Heck, why am I able to jump down right now? Oh. the phone I could end the game oh so this map's beatable okay let's snipe some zombies okay although I'm worried about modding my DS because I don't want to accidentally ruin it because it's the only 2DS I have so if that goes down there's no Pokemon uh, moon or ultra moon or alpha sapphire those are the ones I have for my 2DS XL oh I have a regular DS and the DS XL, like a special, uh, Are Your Brothers Edition one. But, uh, so if I do get another version, if I get Pokemon White, because my Pokemon White was stolen, I can still trade Pokemon between those DSs and have those on there. There's nothing I need to do, like, immediately. Like, I don't need to rush any of that nonsense. But it would be nice to be able to do that. However, I decided to do Pokemon Moon first, and then I'm going to replay Pokemon Ultimate later on. 
All right, I'm gonna try to get Ultra Sun. Just leave my Pokemon mode alone. So I'm kind of starting fresh now that I got the Poke Banks, and then maybe I'll go to my Switch for Pokemon Sword. That's the only one I got on there. It was the only one that seemed interesting to me, and for some reason, it's the first Pokemon game that I like. I played all the way through in like a six-hour setting to like probably near the. I thought I was near the very end. I got pretty far, and I quit playing and then never touched it again. I don't know why po all the, the from the Switch on it just got bad, and honestly. Honestly, what is it? What was I trying to say? Pokemon Black and White were like the last two like really good ones that I enjoyed. Once they started going 3D, I didn't really I didn't really enjoy the Pokemon games the same way. Although I never played X and Y. I went to Sun and Moon, but I, I do like Sun and Moon, so it's like it's fine. But I prefer Pokemon Black and White. And Pokemon Pearl isn't bad, but I find the older ones difficult. So Pokemon Pearl might have been my first Pokemon game. No, I think I think Pokemon White was my first one. I always seen other people play the other ones, like my other cousins and stuff, like uh, Fire Red and stuff. And then when I was watching him, he was looking for an Onyx, and uh, it made me really want to play one of them. And then my first one I got was Ekron, Pokemon White, and then that got stolen, I think, by the same person I was watching play the game with Onyx that he's hunting for. So, yeah, potentially I could be wrong. That, that was what was assumed by my brain at the time. <sighs> now we're stranded here in Nevada, and I'm talking about Pokemon playing Black Ops 3 on a modded map on my PC when I'm a PlayStation gamer. And it feels like I'm in Nevada because I'm wearing a jacket and a hat, and it's been like 100 degree weather out lately for some reason. I don't even know why. I don't even know what month it is. It's September, and it's hot. I don't even know. Do I even need a pack a punch or anything? Where do these zombies come up from? I don't even know. I don't even want to know. All I know is I got the ray gun mark three, so like worst case scenario, I could probably beat this map first try now. And there's no quick revive, there's no jug. Um maybe quick reload would be good. Is that that's where the zombies start? No wonder I haven't been seeing them. This map's actually really nice. The only thing I would have liked to see differently with this map is maybe the, the survivability of jumping down there. I would love to be down there in this open sandbox to fight him. I almost just fell off! Unless there's a secret way to do that. But I don't know. Let's see. Is there any zombies out there on the horizon? Nope. Any zombies out on the horizon? Let me make sure I have my audio turned up to max. We're just gonna one try this map though. That first if that first attempt doesn't count by the way, but as soon as I die, that is when the video ends. The video ends the second I die. Alright? That's a promise I'm making right now. So however long I survive, that's that's what we're doing. There's another zombie. Oh my goodness, I enjoyed this map so much though already. I love it. I love open deserts like this. This almost feels like a no man's sky planet I landed on. Although you can see the border of the map a little bit, but that's fine, that's fine. I don't mind. I like these barren, sketchy maps a whole lot better than like detailed ones. And that's probably why I like Pokemon Black and White instead of like the newer ones because like the simplerness to it it left room for my imagination to fill in the dots and i like that okay although i about ratchet and clank concerning crack in time is super the sexiest one for graphics on old gen and then uh rift apart's pretty like has insane graphics too which is really cool but I feel like with that game, it, it works. With Pokemon, I feel like 2D was just better. But I wouldn't mind a, a remaster of Pokemon Black and White. I really wish they would have done that instead of Alpha Sapphire and the other one. But you know, if they ever do remaster Black or White, uh, 
I will definitely get it and play it. That'll probably be my main. Like, if they do that, that'll get me back on the Switch. That will get me on my Switch. That'll make me buy their memberships for whatever it is that you need to. Pokemans it up. Um. Might be zombies. Oh, there he is. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, look at him. He's huffing it. He's huffing it. Oh, and he didn't make it. <laughs> oh, my. Mm. Do I want to save up my points for, like, elemental pop? Oh, can I please hear? Is the song on here? This is my favorite song for Perk Machines. I think it's because it reminds me of uh, a cyberpunk song a little bit, and I really like the music's in there. Although, I feel like Cyberpunk as a game kind of sucks, though. I really enjoyed playing it for the campaign. That was about it. But other than that, I don't really like the... I don't like leveling up for gear. I don't like... This pistol's level 4, so it doesn't do any damage. But the same pistol when it's at level 8 does more. And it's just like... I don't really like those systems. I just like... This pistol looks cool. I want to use it. It should be like... Have a nice flat damage among all the other weapons in the game. I don't know. That's why when I play Fallout, I don't really like those systems, and Fallout kind of has that, so that's why I play on the easiest difficulty, so all my guns can one-tap headshots. If I could just download a mod on Fallout 4 to make it so headshots are insta-kill for at least human creatures, and then turn up the difficulty to, like, insane, where, like, I die really fast, that would actually work and make sense to me. I'd be fine with that. This ma this map with the modded version of like the sound effects would go so annoying. Hold on, where's Deadshot? There's no sound effect for reloading these guns. <laughs> sound effect for that and try to snipe him. Okay, there's one little pixel of a zombie right there. Oh, there's not even enough range? Oh, for some reason I thought I was aiming at him. Okay, what are the odds I get a sniper rifle out of this box right now? Not high enough, but I could still get the kill from here. Yeah, I can still get the kill from here. It's not the same, I wish I would have kept my other weapon. I just realized I cannot get max ammos unless they come up here. Is there a way to buy ammo up here? That would be very, very nice. I would be very grateful. Oh, I can buy power-ups for a thousand. Interesting. This would have been the perfect map for the perk machine that gives you triple the amount of points occasionally. If, uh, once you buy it. And, it, like, it, you could go anywhere from, like, a single amount of points, double amount of points, and a triple amount for each kill. It just randomly cycles. You never know which one you're gonna get, I guess. That'd be neat. Gotta make sure I'm accurate. At least I'm getting headshots. Am I really aiming too high? I was. Oh my goodness, I missed my sniper rifle.
Is that it? Oh, no, there's still some more? Goodness, these zombies just keep coming. There we go. Cleared them. I don't even know if these things are worth packet punching or not. Um, are they? Honestly, I think they are because they're going to be my survival for once zombies get up here. For now, I kind of just have all the range I need to just not really worry about things. But once they come up here, I can camp with these. How many points is it to win? Is that 100,000 or 10k? Uh, that's 100k. That's 100k points right there. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't be bad. That shouldn't be bad. That's do. That's easy. That's easily doable. Yeah, I can do that. I kind of feel like I should hit the box, but let me just waste all the ammo in this first. I might as well, right? Once this thing runs on empty, I'll buy a new gun. I mean, most times you buy wall weapon ammo, it's usually a thousand anyways, and that's about how much the box is, so... I just could get a really dud weapon. Okay. A burst weapon would actually be pretty good up here. Oh, this map's so sexy though. This is just like, for some reason, just shooting these zombies from here. Oh. Now, how do you get up here, kind sir? How do you get up here? You just jump? Oh, you climb! It's World War Z zombies up in here, okay. Alright, buddy. Hand -in -hand combat may soon be my only option. Okay, let's see what we get. Come on. Oh yeah, this will be way better. I'll be way more accurate with this. Yeah. Um, oh, I wish I would have killed that zombie a little sooner. I can smell him down there. His body stinks. I mean, they are decaying after all. Um, I feel like quick reload would be super sexy. Yeah, I'm kind of just want to prepare for the worst with these perks. And now I won't need this because these guns don't really damage me. No, these don't damage me. I can just hear the wind of that blowing. Interesting. What would be the point of the Bowie knife? To, let's just be honest. What, to sit here AFK for him to come up here? Oh, there's some bigger hordes of zombies coming now. I w no, would have been perfect for this map if they made it so Pack-A-Punch reloaded your weapon every time you hit the Pack-A-Punch machine. Or if the Locust was a wall weapon, that would have been really nice. I would have been satisfied. Or at least an ammo box up here. All of these things would be really nice. Nuke will be very nice. Hey, hey, hey! <gasps> well, I'm a man of my word. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next one. That was Lost in Nevada. This map is so good. I really want to beat it sometime. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get going to my next map now. We're gonna do Come City next. Alright, adios.